One person who hopes to get off to a new beginning is Lindsay. She joins us now at Barefoot HQ. Now, you've got a compelling story which, unfortunately, sadly, is happening to more and more people involving gambling. Can, can you just take us through how it all started? Yeah, sure, Scott. Um, for me, it was really an escape. So I have two beautiful girls, one of whom has autism and cerebral palsy. And as a mum, I think one of the worst things that can happen is to suddenly discover you have a beautiful daughter, that you have no capacity to support and to help her to overcome the challenges that she has. So I was devastated because things just didn't go as we had planned them to go. Um, and for me, it was just a, a means to, to cope with the pain that I was experiencing at the time. And um, I could go, there was bright lights, and it was just a place Casino. I could go. Casino, yeah, yep. definitely casino. Although I did do some of the clubs along the way and, and spend some money on the pokies also. So, what was it, from 1998 to 2003, you were on your gambling binge, as they say. Um, how much money did you spend? I would have, that I can recall, about 250000 So the interesting thing is if I can account for that amount of money, chances are it was actually more than that. But it would be ballpark figure around 250000 How did you hide two hundred and fifty grand? getting out of the accounts from your husband. You're not really wealthy, wealthy people. I mean, how, how did you hide that from him? Credit card. So I, I managed to get a whole heap of credit card debt. Money is really easy to get. How much credit card get. debt did you? Um, I've got 80, 80 to 90 thousand dollars on my own credit card debts, um, and that was just money that I was able to, you know, put in an application for, and I'd get more credit approved. And you know the beautiful letters that you get in the mail where they say, "Would you like to increase your credit?" And so of course I would increase my credit. So I just went behind everybody's back, and I would just apply for more credit. Now, Lindsay, that 80 to 90 thousand dollars in credit card debt is the legacy of your illness, yes. uh, of your addiction. Now you've got two choices really, you know this. You can either go bankrupt, and that's going to stay on your permanent record forever and it's going to restrict your lifestyle for the next seven years, but 80 or 90 grand is going to restrict your lifestyle anyway I would imagine. Or you can go into what, what we call a part nine debt agreement. Now I'm not a fan of these. Um, generally, they're marketed by sleazy marketers um, trying to get people who are down on their luck to pay, in many cases, $1,500 to make a part payment of their debts, negotiate their debts. Often what happens is the people that go through this, that pay this $1,500 and then all these other fees that they jam in, two-thirds of them end up going broke anyway. Mm -hmm. However, if you didn't have this illness, you wouldn't be in this problem. So I think that you're a special case. I believe in hearing your story that you have the, um, the, the, de the determination, the drive to actually pay off this debt. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's almost part of your recovery, isn't it, to actually do that? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I've never walked away from anything in my life. I think this is going to be the challenge for you. If you can stave off bankruptcy, repay your creditors, obviously at a lower rate, I think a part nine debt agreement is something that you need to do. But anyone who is in this, who is in the, finds themselves in this situation, anyone that is struggling with out of control credit card, the first thing you do is not go to a marketing organisation. The first thing you do is go to a community credit uh, counsellor who work in your best interest and they're the people that can really step this out. So. Um, Lindsay, thank you so much for being a guest on The Barefoot Investor. I really, really appreciate you telling me your story, sharing your story. I know that there's a lot of people who are in your situation and hopefully they can, uh, they can draw some inspiration from the courage that you've shown. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for having thank me. Thank you very thank much. You.